Hey, we're full of hell. We're on tour in Europe right now, and these are our distro picks from Evil Greed. Uh, the first record I picked out today is one of the new Vow EPs, Inconsolable. They put out, uh, I'm not even exactly sure, maybe like four or five records this year. Um, I assume they're all connected in some way. But Inconsolable is really cool because uh, they got a bunch of their friends to sing on the tracks. Um, it's, it's beautiful, it's like a softer record. Um, it's just nice to hear them go like full on in that direction and like have female vocal accompaniment. So I'm really into this record. Uh, more than any of the others even so uh, yeah this is my favorite one really cool cover really kind of evokes some nice feelings yeah so the first one I picked out is a uh, genocide pact order of torment it's also on Relapse Records, sick death metal, awesome dudes, good friends. Yeah, we uh, we toured Europe with a couple of them like four years ago. It was like a really long, drunk, awesome trip. It's awesome. But yeah. Another one I picked out. I picked out the new Chelsea Wolf album. It's a bit heavier than uh, some of her other records. I wasn't super familiar with Chelsea Wolf until like a couple years ago, and I started listening to uh, some of her demo rarities and stuff, and I got more into it. And uh, yeah, this one's it's really Kerpalu recorded it. It sounds it sounds amazing, really deep. And uh, we actually have the guitarist from Chelsea Wolf do a remix on Trumpeting Ecstasy for us. So uh, that kind of got me even more into the band getting to interact with him. It's incredible. There's a lot of scope to her music. It's, it's a really good record. Uh, second one I picked out is God's Hate. Metallic Hardcore. This record's awesome. We did a tour with them in the US like a couple years ago. It's awesome. Yeah. It's a really fucking heavy record, great band, super uh, super loyal to like the Marauder kind of sound, uh, really, really over the top, sick, great band. Next one I picked out, uh, in my opinion, um, this isn't my personal favorite body record to listen to, but I feel like this one is uh, is like a really important record to their discography. Uh, I, I always just call it the Pink record. Uh, I just think like a lot of uh, what they were working towards came together on this record. Um, the cover art's really, really strange. Everybody thinks it looks like Spencer, uh, the guitar player of our band. Uh, that was like a running joke, I guess. Um, I don't think I don't think it really does that much. But this record, there's a lot, I feel like there's a lot going on that they really got in like a more fluid sense on this one. I don't know. There's like a bit of pop going on. The structures are really interesting and I don't know. It's like kind of like a love record. So I liked hearing that from them. This, a, this one's a special one. The last record I picked out is uh, my favorite record from Defunct Weekend Nachos. Uh, this isn't their last record, but I feel like this is the best one. The early Weekend Nachos stuff's a bit more on the power balance side of things. Um, and then, of course, it got more down-tuned and heavier and slower as it went on. But I feel like this one is the perfect melding of, of both eras. And uh, it's recorded really, really well. It's really catchy. Uh, what's that song on here? Jock Power Violence, um, maybe like their best track ever, just based on message. Kind of like anti-cool guy, we're just gonna do what we want kind of song. So uh, I think it's probably the most important song they wrote. And uh, it was just at a time where I think 
they just really had it together. This was easily my favorite weekend Nacho's record. And uh, they were really good friends of ours. They kind of showed us the ropes with DIY and everything. So uh, this band always has like a kind of a special place for me. And this one, I think it's timeless in the hardcore world for sure. Yeah.